A historic festival that showcases the deeply rooted Italian heritage in a valley city is wrapping up today. It's the annual Little Italy Festival in Clinton. It kicked off on Friday and featured Italian and carnival style food, free stage entertainment, and grapevine roofed uh, wine garden, as well as a, well, a grape, grape stomping event. The event draws over 275,000 visitors annually. Christine Dietz is the owner of Citrus Sensations at the festival, and she says it's just like family getting together again. We've noticed that when you come out to these places, the people that are out here, the fair people or carny people as they like to call them, they're family. We know them, we love them, we miss seeing them. We look forward to seeing them the next year and year after year. It's just tradition for people to come out and do things that their grandparents brought them out to do. A lot of fun, and again, the Little Italy Festival wraps up with a fireworks show tonight at sunset. Another festival in Casey, uh, Illinois, is also wrapping up today. It's their annual 36th annual Popcorn Festival, a family-based food and entertainment event that includes live entertainment, a huge carnival, and, of course, free popcorn. Shane Todd is the vice president of the Popcorn Festival Committee and says they moved the layout this year to add more room for concert goers and had 22 food trucks this year. He spoke to us today about this year's festival. It's probably uh, one of the best popcorn festivals we've had maybe ever here. The crowd's been amazing. The weather's been amazing. The artists have been amazing. The food, the food vendors have been amazing. So it's been, it's been a great weekend. Todd says that they will start planning for next year's Popcorn Festival this November.